So we're very excited to uh, share the news that we did get emergency use authorization for our Cobas Corona virus test last night from, uh, from FDA. Along with the emergency use authorization, uh, we have also been working to scale up our manufacturing. So we will make available uh, 400,000 tests uh, that will be shipped and made available to the laboratories over the coming days and then thereafter we'll be able to supply about 400,000 tests on average a week so one and a half million tests per month uh, going forward. About six or seven weeks we've been able to fully develop the test. In parallel with that we've been able to build our manufacturing capability so that as of uh, the next few days we can start to supply the test to those testing laboratories around the US. This was a, a really monumental global effort. So if I tell you that normally it takes about 12 months, then a, an approval process on top of that for us to make one of our tests available to the market. Um, to do this in six to seven weeks was a Herculean effort from a, an R&D perspective. Again, using incredible scientists, uh, algorithms, machine learning, um, and then the scale up of the manufacturing uh, organization was huge. But this took an effort from the West Coast, Pleasanton, the East Coast, Branchburg in New Jersey. It took our colleagues in Rokreutz in Switzerland, colleagues in Germany, uh, all over the globe. Uh, to make this happen. So we've mobilized literally many hundreds of people to be able to, to bring this to life in record time. If there's one thing that uh, this public health crisis did, um, it, it motivated people in a way that uh, I, I can't even begin to describe. Uh, we've never had to ask people to go the extra mile. People have literally worked night and day across all of our organization uh, because everyone realizes uh, we have a responsibility here to help deal with what is a, a, a terrible uh, public health situation with the, with the coronavirus pandemic.